Hi Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 26th through March the 4th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aries for February the 26th through March the 4th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aries for February the 26th through March the 4th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aries for February the 26th through March the 4th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, this is a peek at your partner. So, Aries, your partner has the Knight of Swords. Your partner has the Five of Swords. Ooh, your partner has the Six of Cups. Your partner has the Five of Wands. What the heck is going on here, Aries? Your partner has the Six of Swords. So, Aries. Your partner has the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking their truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Aries, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries, partner. Aries, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for Aries, partner. Clarify the empress for Aries, partner. Clarify the empress for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging trying to numb out. 
Now, Aries, listen, you know, very well could be a confrontation taking place concerning your partner getting their wish because maybe they're wanting to nurture the relationship further here and go into some type of commitment. You know, Aries, your partner could tell me that, you know, forgiveness is on the board here. We'll see if children may be involved here, okay? Your partner could tell me that they're overindulging, trying to numb out. Yes. I hope they're not feeling smug in a situation, but we will see. Aries, your partner has the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. Or your partner's telling me that they're pissed and they have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the five of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the five of swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Leo. Now your partner could tell me that they're happy. They want to be happy. They're over the moon or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Aries, this could all be work or business for your partner here, okay? You know, some type of institution, organization, government, so agency dealing with their abundance, some type of work or business, some type of battle is going on here, some type of confrontation here because something was illuminated, something came to light. However, Aries, your partner could tell me that you guys had this tit for tat tug of war, some type of confrontation, but they want to be happy and wanting to work things out. Or your partner's telling me that, yes, they're pissed, because something was illuminated about there being a third party here. And I hope children aren't involved here, Aries. Aries, your partner has the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you very well could be this person from their past that having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite. Your partner could tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, I have just cause to celebrate. Your partner could tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, Aries, listen, your partner could tell me, yes, you guys are reuniting, okay, reuniting here. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is on the board. Someone is setting the record straight, and they're happy about this, that we're working things out. However, your partner could tell me that, you know, someone from your past or someone from their past is in the picture. There's a third party. Aries, your partner could tell me that we're reuniting and also having just cause to celebrate because someone may have commitment on the brain here and maybe wanting to go into some type of an agreement or contract or collaboration, not just work things out with forgiveness here. Aries, your partner has the five of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag, this is conflict. 
This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to your partner being conflicted within about something. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Clarify the five of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the five of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the five of wands for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now your partner is taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching their inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Virgo, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. Your partner could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching or they went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. I want to say something so bad. But I don't do gender specific reads here, okay? I, uh, and I don't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's just say this. I hope. Uh, I don't even know what to freaking say. So listen. I, <laughs> Sometimes it's best to not say anything, but I have to tell you what I see, okay? For some of you guys, not all of you guys, some of you guys, and when I say guys, I mean girls too, okay? So for some of you, listen, I hope that there's no form of manipulation here to get their happiness here, okay? And is this manipulation concerning someone expecting so that we can go into some type of commitment here? I'm just saying, is someone now expecting and expecting to go into some type of commitment? And this is a form of mind games and manipulation. Clarify the hermit, queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Aries could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified. What the fuck am I telling you the truth? It just keeps coming up for you. That's all I could tell you. Four of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Aries, listen, you know, this can be about your partner's foundation, stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property here. So, Aries, is it that your partner's, like, conflicted with then doing some heavy-duty soul-searching concerning filing some type of legal documentation or paperwork going into commitment? Or is it that you guys had this heated discussion argument here and it was over commitment here, okay? And there was a cutting off. I still feel like it's just engineered. I just feel like it's just engineered, okay? Some mind games here, manipulation here, Aries. Aries, your partner has a six of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. 
Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're physically moving, traveling, or relocating. Your partner could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news or message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aries, listen, your partner could be sending out passionate messages. They could be receiving passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of wands for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the emperor. This is you, Aries, or Taurus. But the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the emperor for Aries, partner. Clarify the emperor for Aries, partner. What does Aries partner think of Aries? What does Aries partner think of Aries? Clarify the emperor for Aries partner. It is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Aries, listen, I asked, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Your partner could think that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. You know, Aries, you very well could be closed off, blocked off, not opening up towards this situation that it seems like they want to put you in okay and it's causing a heated discussion or argument but because i feel like this person is playing some type of mind games and manipulation they very well could be closed off to you aries and sparking up this argument to get their desired results here okay and their desired results is that you guys reunite but not just reunite have just cause to celebrate here Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 26th through February, I mean, March the 4th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.